Breakfast. Denny's. Diner. You lose your voice? Can I take your phone? So I was like, fine. But that means we have to bill you double the normal rate because it's over 4th of July weekend. And he was like, okay. And I was, oh, hey, Denise. What's up? Right? Which I was totally bluffing. But this guy totally bought it. Now he's on the hook for 12 grand, which means if you can get the designs done by Friday, wait a minute, you can still get the designs done by Friday, right? Perfect. So if you can get done by Friday, that means six grand a piece. Easy money, and that's all we'll need for the entire summer. And with a few extra dollars, that means Catalina. Catalina. Wait, how'd you know I was gonna say that? What can I get you, Lenny? Oh, hi, Denise, let me see. Let me get short stack, sausage, coffee, juice, and your phone number. Short stack? That's what I would've guessed. Tom? Same. Because every time we get a little extra money, you wanna go to Catalina. Hey, what's wrong with that? It's just an island. No, 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 it's, it's not just an island, all right? It's another world. That's their advertising slogan. No, it's not. It is. Stop. We did their website. No, we didn't. Last year. Seriously? Okay, you know what, that doesn't matter because it's still true. I'm not going to Catalina. Besides, Beth and George have their engagement party next week. All right, that, that seems a little unlikely. I was gonna say ambitious. You know what, that sounds better. Yeah. Hey, did you ever call back the cake guy? I can't hear through the door, you know. I said, did you ever call back the cake guy? He left a message yesterday. He said he could deliver Friday. No, 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 the party's Saturday. I told him Saturday. Did you tell him Saturday? I told him. Then why is he saying Friday? He hates you. Why didn't you just tell him Friday was no good? There was a message. I'm sorry. I just feel like I'm doing this all on my own, okay? Can we just get the cake on Friday? George, it is a seven layer cake. It feeds 120 people. What are we gonna do? Put it in the bottom shelf of our fridge next to the six pack of Corona? Oh, by the way, we're out of Coronas. On the plus side, we can use the extra space. Can you please just tell me that you're taking care of it? I'll put my best man on it. Have you picked a best man? Oh my God, this again. It's just an expression. Oh my God, I don't know what your problem is. I already have all my bridesmaids and my maid of honor. Why don't you just pick Tom and get it over it's with? It's not going to be Tom. Please. He's your best friend. He introduced us. He's too tall. I'm tired of looking like his kid brother. I don't want that in my wedding photos. All right, look, I gotta go. If that's how you feel, I want a list of your friends, five, nine, and under. We are solving this before the party. This is, this is not a good idea. This is... The, he's go... Did you see that, dude? No, I'm not. He used his nuts to break his fall. That's, why do they skate at these parks? They're just not smart. How do these kids make it through high school? They're just not smart. Into the garbage can. Dead. Okay, so you fly out of Burbank tonight, lay over in Denver, change planes in Minneapolis, and land at JFK at 3 o'clock tomorrow. I'm better off taking the 7 a.m. I actually get in earlier. I'd fly there myself if I could, man. I know, buddy.
Okay, everything's all set. I'm throwing you a party tonight. No. Oh, come on, man. Hey, let's make the best of a bad situation, okay? Besides, you're stuck here tonight anyways, so let me send you off in style. And you got a six-hour flight ahead of you, a six-hour flight I know you don't want to be awake for. So let me tire you out tonight with some drinking, some partying, some women, and some craziness. You look skeptical. It's, it's just that this is... The nicest thing I've ever done for you? Buying me breakfast is the nicest thing you've done for me. Dude, I always buy you breakfast. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, listen, trust me, okay? Get out. You got your keys? Where are we going? Hey, party supplies, baby! Alright, your trunk's bigger than mine, so we're taking your car. But don't worry, I'm driving. Okay, I'm sure he's just trying not to make too big a deal. Yeah, but some things are a big deal, you know? I thought finally proposing was him taking the next step, but I just don't know. Uh, the, the party sounds like it's going to be amazing. Oh shit, that reminds me. I have to call him and make sure he's keeping on top of the bakery. They're playing games with our cake. Okay. Ouch! You made a Yeah. Hey, it's me. Uh, did you call the bakery yet? It's like 11.15. Uh, yeah. I'm sure they're open already. Alright, alright, give me a break. I'll do it now. Oh, and, uh, when did call, like, five minutes ago? Honey, can you turn on the TV? Okay, whatever. Can you just turn it down? You can't sit down. What did Lenny want? What? You just said Lenny called. Oh, yeah. Tom's brother died. What? Yeah, some kind of freak accident back in New York. He fell. Or was hit by a car. Okay, well, which is it? I don't know. He talks so fast. You know how Lenny talks. Well, that's awful. They're having a party for him tonight. Um, okay, what time? <sighs> Please, we're not going. George! It's a death party. Do you want to go to a death party? Yes, I want to be there for my friend in a tough time. Then send a, a fucking fruit basket or something. It's creepy. We're going, and we're going to be the first ones there and the last ones to leave. Then I'm not driving. But I don't know what your problem is. These people used to be your friends, and now it's like... I have to make the effort to be human with them or something. Could I come? Who is that? Kat, this is obviously going to be the weirdest situation in which to meet people. I don't mind. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Can she drive then? Yeah, absolutely. I can drive. All right, great. See you at 7. Beth, don't forget Coronas. We're out. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Hey, yo, people coming down the driveway. This thing is on, all right? Get psyched, buddy. This is stupid. I feel like an ass. What? No, 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 no. Hey, I invited everybody out tonight. Everybody is coming. I want to take off the hat. Come on, give the hat a try. Why? Because the hat makes you special, all right? You're the guy in the hat now. Everybody's going to be walking around and be like, hey, it's the guy in the hat. It's the guest of honor. People are going to be like, that's the guy whose brother just died. That's the dead brother hat. You know what? Lose that. You're gonna lose the hat. Put it on, man. Try it. Whoa! Yeah! Who the hell did you invite? Everybody we know in town. But don't worry. It's still early. Still a bit of a shock, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. Tough one. Took a lot, didn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Tom, Lenny, this is my friend Kathleen. We went to high school together. Lenny and Tom went to college with me. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi. We're moving to LA. Work, actually. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I sell advertising airtime on the radio. Nice. How do you like the area? Nice weather. I haven't really gotten to exploring yet, but I don't know. What? It's good. Have you been to Catalina? Oh, no, but I did pick up a brochure in my office. It's a great start. What are you doing out here? Uh, oh, you know, um, nature. Taking care of nature. Yes, taking Mother care nature. of your nature. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing a good job. <laughs> that thing's dead. You're welcome. <clears throat> How are you? Good. Good, 
you know, I'm just... George. <sighs> yes. <laughs> How did you know? Uh, I don't know, he's just incapable of, like, doing the simplest things, you know? Mm -hmm. He had to be told, like, five times to make a phone call today. He definitely moves at his own pace. Well, a guy can't even make a decision. You know, he doesn't even have a best man yet. I told him I'd do it. He said I'm too tall. Yeah, what is with that? You know, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> you mean complex. Yeah. Oh. Tom. Something's going on, man. Tom, this is Lenny. Sup? Righteous. Heard from a man. Heard we were throwing it down at Lenny and Tom's tonight. Heard it was gonna be special. Heard it was gonna be memorable. We. As you can see, I've brought my people. We bring libations. We wait only your permission. Look, sir, uh, uh, excuse me, sir, can we just get one second? Please, please, confer. Look, man, we don't know this guy. Clearly. And it's been a weird-ass day. Tell me. I said we let it happen. Look, man, we're trying for something here. I guess. And I don't think it's happening. Okay, man. Come on in. Righteous. Just feel like he's... Some kind of lunatic. Yeah. I told her he just saved you from a weird guy, but also, did you see where George went? I think he just went outside. I'm sorry, you no, no, probably no, want to... No, 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 it's, it's okay. It's your best friend. Uh, Kathleen. Kathleen. Mind if I sit? Please. Free country. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm really sorry to hear about you. You don't have to. You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. It's sad what happened, and sad stuff happens every day. Life goes on. Wow. <laughs> You're handling it really well. I honestly don't think I'm handling anything yet. It's probably better that way. It is probably better that way. Hey, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Feels good. See it if you believe. <sighs> I can't believe him. He didn't even want to come here tonight, and now he's off with any asshole he finds interesting. I don't even think he said two words to me since we got here. You drink? Yes. Off. Like this? It's not that big of a deal. No, seriously. 
I mean, you put this all together spontaneously for Tom, and George would never do that for me. What? Yeah, he would. Guy won't even call a fucking bakery. Like, you know, maybe he's just being engaged as new to him. And he's worried that this is gonna change things between you guys. Look, he'll find his way. Just give him some time. You're really sweet. I just wish George and I had what you and Tom have. <laughs> when we sex. Eh. It was really great of Lenny to put this together for you. Yeah, it's it's his sort of thing, and you know, God bless him. He really seemed to pull it off. How long have you guys been living together? Since sophomore year of college. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you don't see relationships like that often. Yeah. He's straight though. Oh, I did. I didn't. No, I'm um, straight. We're both straight. I'm, just, I'm straight too. You know, I've been straight. I should really. Uh, we're straight. I just we we lived together and we went to Galilean together. You know, I, I didn't him. think you were gay. No. But uh, clearly, he's the most meaningful relationship I've had in that time, so it's, it's pretty gay. <laughs> no. Seriously, how's Tom taking all this? I don't know. You know, he's Tom, so he's quiet. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You ever meet his brother, Mike? No. <laughs> oh, that dude was out of control. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he came to visit us a couple times in college. Uh, Tom definitely could keep up with them. You know, I even struggle to keep up with them. You know? That's tough. <laughs> yeah. This one time they go out and they get like hammered. And I'm like talking about like MC hammer hammer, <laughs> you know? Uh, they stumble onto the subway. You know, a few stops in, Tom thinks he's home, so he's like hops up, he jumps off. Turns out he's at the wrong stop, he's in Freeport. Eight miles away from home. Oh my God. Yeah. So he just hoofs it the rest of the way. You know, he gets home and no Mike. Well, where was he? Nobody knew. You know, they spent the whole night looking for him. The whole night. Finally, they get this call from some lady saying she found him in the subway and thought he was dead. You know. So she called the ambulance. They pumped his stomach the whole nine yards. Oh my God, can't even imagine. Yeah. I mean, we all thought he was gone. And Tom especially. I don't think he ever forgave himself for that. And there's all these models and actors and actresses and they're just thinking their work is very important and they flock here thinking they were just giving shit away and there's us us yeah us you know we feed on these people and we make their websites and their headshots and we sell them air hey okay wait i like to think of it as selling advertising opportunity saying i sell air it sounds like i sell nothing wow aren't we what are we selling what are we really selling? Are you okay? I need to lie down. The fungus is on Mars. Spiraling demons. Spiraling demons. Spiraling demons. Trees on Jupiter! Trees on Jupiter! Still looks like a great place to live. Yeah, yeah, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. You want to know what it is? I could, I could tell you. What is it? You're a <laughs> funny person. Okay. Okay, what is it? It's a great place to leave. That's what it is. It is a great place to leave. You know, you get up there in the plane, you get up high enough. You see that road riding along the coast? And you see all those rows of palm trees. And you think to yourself, that's got to be a great place to live. Looks like a fantasy land. But when you get down here, you realize that it is a fantasy land. Yeah. And that it's a heat 
and congestion and driving around in your car, surrounded by all these other single car drivers, fighting the bullshit just to get home. And everybody, everybody is just fighting for themselves. Leaving is great. Coming back is hell. Still. Look at what you get to come back to, hmm? Look at the people who would do this for you. You know, Lenny, he doesn't even know that I know this story. But when he was a kid, his family was going to take him to the carnival. When his mom gets this call, his grandmother died back in Haiti. And she reacts, you know, she cries. And she calls her sister and she tells the boys. And then his father tells Lenny and his brother to get back in the car. And his mom gets in the car. And they go to the carnival. <laughs> and they, they ride every ride. And he even won the stuffed tiger and he, he still has that stuffed tiger. <laughs> He'll show it to you if you ask him. I mean, the next day they go back to Haiti and they go to the funeral. But there's the carnival. In that first major loss, there was that, you know, that light. That's what this is. That's beautiful. It is. Doesn't make us any less gay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> What the hell happened to him? He got punched. Who punched him? That guy he couldn't get enough of. Where is he? He's gone. Beth. Here. Beth. Here. I was wrong, Beth. That guy is not a genius. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Beth? No, no. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, man. This... This isn't what I was going for. Buddy, you don't have to apologize for anything. Uh, I love you! Uh, uh. Come on, let's get you up. Oh. Okay, oh. with your neck. Where did that guy go anyway? Uh, just hold still. You freaking get off the ground. <sighs> Bakery. I know. I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. You know what? Don't worry about it. Are you gonna do it? No. trying to be alone and no no it was nice to thank you is your friend gonna be okay george yeah he's gonna be fine beth is gonna kick the shit out of him <laughs> but he's gonna be just fine things got out of hand pretty quickly huh yeah they did but you know even if you saw it coming you couldn't stop it as much as you want to protect somebody I... you can't can you Listen, um, okay, I've really enjoyed meeting you and your friends, so... <laughs> sure. No, when you get back in town, give me a call, okay? Okay.
What? No one's giving me a phone number on a piece of paper in a long time. Usually they just hand you a business card or something. I'm at a party, why would I have a business card? You are new to LA. I'll give you a call. George is going to be staying with us for a little while. Cool. Hey, can you give me a ride to the airport in a few hours? Yeah, of course. You can't fool.